Hello, hello, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got so excited. I'm getting all choked up. Welcome to Shelly's Chocotour. We are going to check out the Fresh Start launch. I will be right with you, and we will also do a demo with one of the new products. Our text messaging system just went out. If you'd like to be texted when I go live, go ahead and comment with the word text, and we'll get you all signed up. I'll be with you in a moment. Say hello as you guys hop on. Say hello, my friends. There we go. All right, guys, we're going to start in one moment. Hi, Mom. I'm doing okay. I, I went and had a spa day all day. I was literally there from 1030 this morning till about 3. I didn't realize it was going to take me all day, but I got all kinds of stuff done. So, it was a good day, but I'm tired. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate you. We are going to talk about all the things um, for January and fresh start. I appreciate you, Kathy. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to dig right in. So, let's talk about I got... Um, so I'm a club member to myself. Not only do I get one because I'm a designer, but I also subscribe to myself so that I get a copy. Just in case I outuse my original. So this is January's. And with the club subscription, oh yeah, I remember this one. The staying in is the new going out. You get your B-size transfer. And then you're going to get a package of three singles. Now, if you subscribe to the club for the very first time, they will actually send you, or this will also come in your pack, but a mini squeegee so that you can take this right out of the pack and start uh, chalking. So with staying in, you get the Ocean Mist, Black Velvet, and Shimmer Copper. Those are the three colors that come. Hi, Mary. How are you? Um, so again, if you are a first time club subscriber, I don't know if they do this, like if you were a subscriber and then you canceled for a while and then you rejoin. I'm not sure if they count that as a new subscription. That's a good question to ask. I'll have to ask that. Um, but this is January's. Okay. It's the staying in is the new go out going out. I had fun. I did this on one of our 5 by 12 um, simple shapes. We did the big house at the end, and we did the brick background. I thought it was super cute. 
So that's January. And I'm going to tease you with February. I have February because I ordered. Um, when you're a designer, when you order within, I mean, anytime you order during that month, if it's before the 15th, they will throw in the next month's club transfer. Otherwise, it won't go out to the 15th. So usually I, I place an order with the Fresh Start launch, which was, what, January 6th? Um, so they included it in my shipment. Are you excited? Do you want to see it? I got mine too. Good. Oh, and Mary got hers yesterday. Cool. All right. So they're coming when they're supposed to come. All right. Let's open it up and see what next month brings. Now, like I said, when, you, when you're a designer, you don't get the three pay singles because you're a designer and you can get them at a um, reduced price, the 40% off discount. But your monthly fee also includes your club transfer, which is a good $15.99. So that's quite a deal, I think. Okay, are you guys ready? It says, welcome-ish. Depends on who you are and how long you stay. <laughs> I think that's funny. <coughs> Excuse me. And it has a couple little tulip spreads here. These tulips would be cute um, for Easter time or decorating in the spring. You could really make a pretty, if we had like a little vase or um, if you did our, um, oh, the jar cutouts, if you put that on a bigger Let's say you put that into a 9 by 12 box frame and then did the, the flowers behind it. That would look pretty too. But this is your February club transfer. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and comment club and I will send you information on how to become a subscriber and what it all entails. Okay, so that is February. Do you like it or not like it? Tell me below. Mary says she loves it. Good. Welcome-ish. I think they like the ish thing. They did a farmhouse-ish transfer too. Okay, let's talk January promo. Um, we've talked about the Creative Kickstart Door Decor Bundle. And we did that. It was the oval. I did the sign. I did my um, address. And it said, welcome to, we did the vintage rose background on it. It turned out so pretty. Okay, Mary loves it. Kathy likes it. Good, good, good. All positive. That's good. Um, you can only earn this. So the only way you can earn this is if you are a, or a designer like myself, we still have to actually pay for it as a designer, but you can earn it as a customer. Now, if you place a $100 before tax and shipping and lots of love roundups. Um, if you do that, that's US dollars, by the way. If you do that during the month of January, you will get this for free. Now, if you are a club member and spend that amount, you get the bundle. Plus, they will send you, and not particularly these colors, but you will also get three pay singles, which is amazing, right? So, um, yeah, so you get a little extra for being a club member. So that is our Creative Kickstart Door Decor Bundle. You have to spend $100 during the month of January. All right, now who wants to see the goodies? I do, I do. Okay, are you ready? We had two D-size transfers, and I bought two of each because I liked them a lot. So the first one... We'll just flip them over. The first one is the butterflies. This is called two, I want to say it's called two etched, yeah, two etched butterflies. They love butterflies, right? We keep coming out with butterflies. So could you imagine like a whole wall of all these different butterflies we've had in the past? I think that would be really cool. So that's two etched butterflies. You get two different sizes. They are not stacking. Um, these look beautiful when they're done like watercoloring. So you put your initial layer. Um, the home office did it and they did it. Uh, I think they used Dune, something light. And then they colored in all 
all those little, wherever you see green, they colored that in and then went back over it with like a black. And oh my gosh, it's very striking. It turned out so pretty. All right, and then we have another one of those four pattern transfers. And this is found patterns from nature. Found patterns from nature. And this I really like. I like these. These are very, um, what's the word? They're very dainty. They're very dainty flowers. Here's like a little mini cheetah print. This is the, the grass hatch or scratch. What did you call it, Mary? Don't remember what you called it. Like a grass something, I thought you said. <laughs> and then I want to say, I can't think of this leaf. Every time I try to think of it, I can't think of it. Um, but it's just kind of like a very delicate fern type pattern. All right, so those are our two D patterns. We'll put those aside. Now we have, we had two C size, no E size, no E size this time. So we had two different D size. And again, I bought two of the same. Um, I really like this one, grass cloth. Where did I get the other stuff from? Thank you. Um, I really like this one. This one is called Peaceful Garden. It has the pansies, which are my favorite flower. A couple little bees. We got a hummingbird. And then I want to say that's a zinnia. I really think that's what that is. Um, and we're going to play with this today when we're done. So let's put that aside. So I got a double of that one. And then it's just a phase. Um, it's our moon, stay wild, moon child. I like this one because you can kind of change those words around. So you could say wild child. Um, you could say moon child. You could say stay wild. Uh, so right in here, there's three little sayings right here. This one says, the moon is a reminder that no matter what phase I am in, I am still whole. I like that one too. And then, of course, you have all your phases. Now, this one, I think, can also be switched up and used as a sun. So you can do the solar eclipse. Do you remember we had one of those a few years back? You couldn't look at it. I think another one is coming, actually. I want to say this year there should be another solar eclipse where you have to have those special glasses. Um, so I think that would be fun to play with and turn into suns. We may try that one. So those are the two C size. And then we have one, two, three, four. We got five different B size transfers. So this says stay humble. So stay humble and then hustle hard. I've got a big heart, but this mouth. <laughs> I like that little snarkiness. Um, I got quite a few of these because I do uh, something in my studio with these. But this is our minis. This is the um, You Got This minis. It says, darling, you're different. Chase dreams, not approval. Everything will be okay. A rainbow, a little collection of flowers. This is the sun and a cloud. Don't give up, kid. Better days ahead, you got this. Some cherries, shiitake happens. <laughs> I think that's funny too. Some stars and today is the greatest. These are great, I like these a lot. So I got several of those. It's fine, I'm fine, everything is fine. A lot of people say that. <laughs> Bougie AF. And then we're back to the beginning. And then we got um, just four of our A size. Now our A size has changed. Um, they used to be, let's see if I can find one. I wanna say they were like five by seven. Now they're four and a half by six and a half. All right, this one says, just don't just stand there. This says, be a rainbow in the clouds. Pretending to work. And this is an N. It says, nope. 
I like that. I think I have like a Ray Dunn. Um, it's just kind of like a desk, kind of like a paperweight. And it just says, nope, <laughs> which I think is funny. So this here, you'll see a lot of this on our transfers. It's a, um, it's a little note just to remind you that the copyright information on this transfer is mesh silk screen. Use caution, remove or cover with tape before use. So remember, um, here is what they consider our uh, copyright information. So it's the name, it's the, um, the SKU number of the transfer, what the name of the transfer is, the year, it says Chuck Couture. Um, that's a copyright trademark. But what you could do is take your transfer tape and just cover it if you're a messy chalker and get all over the place or just trim it off. I, I will probably keep it on just so I remember the number of the item and uh, the name of it. So just a warning that it does chalk through. So if you're like inking and you accidentally hit that, that will ink onto whatever you're doing. Okay, everything's available now, Kathy. Everything is available now. Okay, so most of everything you've seen, um, if it's not listed already, it will be in the Etsy shop decor cutouts. So you can get everything in a wood cutout form, which I so magically have in front of us. This is the, um, oh, what is this one called again? Now I gotta remember all these names. Peaceful Garden. And I think I'm going to do, let me show you all the pieces first. So, and you'll see when you get online too, when you're checking out the listing, um, you can choose like all of them or pieces, parts of them. So one of that selection will be this full piece with two removable bees or you can just get the two Bs separated, okay? You can get, um, you'll get the pansy, there's a background piece and a foreground piece. I'm kind of liking the layering look these days. You'll get two pieces for your hummingbird. So you get the foreground and the background. And then, of course, your zinnia. All right, so what you'll do is here is you'll, it'll fit that, okay? So I am going to do, I really want to play with those pansies. Let's see what we can do with those pansies today. Let's get everything put away but the pansies. All right, let's put that aside. Let's bring this over. Let's get it out. And remember, our transfers changed up a bit. They are more translucent. Um, so in case you are moving things around and trying to layer, or if you want to have something really close to another piece, um, they're more see-through now. I still like my light box, though. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this, too. So out of all of those new items, which ones did you like the best? And I put up a quiz a few days ago to see if you could order, put in order the top five selling items from the new release. And no one got it right. So I'm gonna have to go back to that and see if anyone else guessed, but no one got it right. I know, it's hard to do. It's hard, right? It's hard to figure out what's going to be popular and what isn't. All right, so this is Peaceful Garden. Also, the backer sheet is different, I noticed, too. It's, um, 
I wonder if it's this both on the same on both sides because this is really shiny too and glossy. It's not, um, it's not the paper. I figured you'd say the butterflies. I know you. That's why I bought two because I knew you'd want to use it. Okay, peaceful garden. This is the pansies. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna make a pretty pansy. We should, I'm trying to think what I can put this on. <laughs> well, I'll have to, you know what, I have a surface. Let me go around and get that real quick. Let's see. I have something I think I can put that on. Let me go get it. All right, I have this fun little wood. Oh yeah, that'll be cute. Perfect. Okay, that'll be cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so it's just a little, it says wood frame chalkboard. I got this from my sister-in-law. So let's play on it. So when I tell you to pay attention to the quality of chalkboards, here's a really good instance on how our quality is top notch versus something you would buy in a store. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it. Do you see in that corner? How it's like bubbly and glued. That's that's not a quality chalkboard, right? That's I don't know what that is. And there's kind of like some drips all around. So really guys, if you want a top-notch quality, high quality uh, chalkboard, we probably have the best on the market. But this will do because I think this will fit perfectly and be cute. Okay. Mary says, to put it on a palette sign, that would be a good choice. Okay. So this is the surface we're going to do it on. Um, paintable wood, so that's nice. But we're going to go ahead and do what we need to do here. So let's get... Got to grab new uh, wipes. Okay, we need to paint these guys up. So we have a background and a foreground piece. I think, let's see. I have a really pretty purple, of course. I have a really pretty purple that will do on the background piece, I think. Then we'll paint this one white, and then we'll chalk in purples. I just need to find my white. Or maybe we do it on a nice light gray. Yeah, those, oh, they'll match my nails. Shocking. All right these all shook up. Try to get them open. I don't know why I struggle. Oh. If I push kind of around the, the uh, lid, it helps kind of, I don't know, break the seal or something. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, hurt my hands. Not good for arthritic, arthritic hands. I'm pretty sure I've used this before. Maybe not. 
Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Gorgeous color. All right. Hopefully I put that on the right piece. All right, let's get this painted up. It's not gonna stay down, is it? So usually, usually if I'm using a larger piece of wood, I will use like an acrylic paint or a different kind of craft paint to paint it instead of using our paste, but you can use our paste um, to color, to paint with. In fact, I do like to do that, only be then it makes everything match correctly. strokes a bit. All right, we'll let that dry. Now we'll do this one, our gray color. Let's get this one out of the way. Hopefully this one opens a little easier. It's rough having arthritis. It's rough. Got to figure out how to close these. There we go. Without it getting so stuck. Okay. Pretty gray color here. That's like a bluish gray. Wow, that really changed colors. So this is our foreground piece. I may... We'll see, we'll see how this dries. I may paint it white. Not sure I'm digging this light gray color. What do you guys think? Do you like that? It probably looks more gray to you than it does me. It looks kind of bluish, but maybe not. Maybe not, maybe I'm just seeing things. Trying to get a little second coat on it here, see what it looks like. Because I could see the wood coming through. Okay. Okay, I think Got it second coated here. I 
We're not that dry. I am just making a mess. Messy, messy Marvin. You are so cold. Sharon says, I like it. I like it so far. It looks a pretty gray. I am so cold. Are you cold? <laughs> what is it, 60? <laughs> Why are you so cold? Okay. Let's get this dried up. See what it looks like here. I love this purple color. It's the same as my nails. Yeah, you should come to Ohio. It's been chilly, really. It's been raining today, rained yesterday. I guess it, I woke up and it was wet today. It hasn't really rained. Sixty-five or forty-eight. That sounds like uh, Texas weather. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to just go around edges, see if I went over any edges. Okay. Now we don't want to get our gray on our purple, so we're going to kind of tuck that in. I'm just going around to make sure I didn't, like, paint over the sides too much. Because then when I put my hands all over it, I get all covered in paint. Okay. So the purple, or the gray, will go on top of the purple. Like so. Pretty, pretty. And you know what we should do? We should maybe paint the frame gray. What do you guys think? Or should I do it the purple? Hmm. <laughs> should I paint the frame gray or purple, guys? That doesn't need to happen right this second, so we can put this to the side. All right. Same with this. We can put this to the side. All right, we're not doing anything with this piece. We're just using that as our background. But we do need to wax. Gray, Kathy says gray. Let's see what it looks like when we're all done with it. Because right now I might think the gray is, there's too much of it. But then I think that purple is too dark. So let's see what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so I kind of just spread it um, just so you can see how that looks. You can see where I've kind of spread the wax. It's the whitish areas. Mary says purple. And then we're just gonna kind of rub that in. Being careful we don't snap off any of our pieces that are kind of hanging out. Okay. You can see that I'm going pretty quickly because it is just gliding over that flower cutout. It just glides, okay? And you can see there's a little bit of a shimmer if I can get that glare. Can't quite catch it. You can you can even see the wood grain there. All right. So that is nice and uh, waxed and buffed. Let's bring over our 
light box. I am shocked it's still powered. I, gosh, what has it been like two, three weeks that I've had that, I've used it and we haven't had to recharge it yet, which is kind of nice. Okay, these are translucent to begin with, but I feel with that light in the background, I will even get a better placement. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna rub that down. Except we're stuck. So let's let's pick this up out off of our light board here. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that's nice and flat against our cutout. Okay, you can see our cutout through. Now, pansies are purple, sometimes yellow. I love the purple and yellow combos, so that's fine. Bumblebee, oh my gosh, I haven't used Bumblebee in a long time. Where's my Regal? This is that aubergine. Now this was a really dark, dark, dark purple. Yeah, that's hard as a rock. All of my old retired colors are not working anymore. Let's see. How about we use, maybe we should use, ooh, this would be good. Let's use our shimmer plum. And our Shimmer Harvest. Ooh, that'll be pretty. That will be very, very pretty. And then we need a green. Uh, I don't, let's see. This is Rainforest, not Rainforest, that's Thinking I want to use a rich dark green. Let me grab my other paste here. We have forest or where is my shimmer? Or we have shimmer spruce. Hmm. We could just get all shimmery today. We can get all shimmery. Okay, so here's our petals. We'll do those in the shimmer spruce. Put that there. And do yellow centers. Okay. Do the thinner transfers last as long as the old ones? Don't know. <laughs> um, I think they are saying, so what they're doing is they're, we're trying to have, um, we're trying to have several different suppliers because of what we learned from the pandemic, right? Because when transfers came for a new, you know, new release, we only ordered however many. And oopsie, that was a popular transfer, but we can't get it now because it'll take two months, right? Because we kept going to the same supplier. So we are trying different suppliers. I don't think they would get something that wouldn't last it long. I believe they are still telling us it's the eight to 12 um, times. In fact, I think I remember that in one of their lives, they were demonstrating and um, they did say that it's the still, you know, it will still last you um, a lot of washes. So I think so. 
Let's just put it that way. I will, when I'm at leadership, I will, I'm sure they will, that will come up. They will talk about the new transfers and that question will come up. I am sure of it. So I will get an answer to that question. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's do our shimmer spruce. All right, so we're gonna do all the leafy parts first. All right, we're gonna get in here nice and tight eventually. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. I can, I really like how I can see through this transfer, you guys. All right, we're getting really close. Nice and close. All right. Wow, I kind of like that. Let me get in here real close. Okay, and then there's one little spot at the top that we'll get trying to see the transfer though like where does the flower start and where does it end <coughs> i don't know why i'm coughing all right now because we're using the shimmers they do tend to stay wet longer. So we're gonna kinda hang out. All right, yellow goes in the center. Why did I do the green with that mini squeegee? Okay, yellow is in the center. Let me find another mini. Mini, mini. Um, so we're just gonna concentrate that in the middle. Kind of like, um, we're gonna do kind of like a nombre-ish blend. So I'm kind of staying to the middle of the flower here. You guys, this is my favorite flower ever. And then what I'll do is go over it with the purple. Don't they look like little lions? They have little faces. What movie was that? Uh, is it Alice in Wonderland? Where the pansies are talking? Hmm. Help me out, guys. Isn't there a movie? I'm not sure if that's what you're referencing to, Mary. But now I have that stuck in my head. Thank you very much. All I keep hearing him is say, so blow me a kiss and that's lucky too. Okay, so here we're gonna go with our Shimmer Plum, which, ooh, boy, we are down to the pickings here. See, I can't hum, I can't sing, or Facebook will think I'm playing music that I don't have rights to. Silly Facebook. All right, mine is getting a little dry. We're gonna give it a squirt of bottled water there. See if we can bring it back to life a little bit. I think sometimes when you don't stir your shimmers a lot, they might tend to dry out. But I also think this is like the only jar of, of this color I've ever had open. So I think it's kind of old. 
Wizard of Oz. Hmm. Well, I remember Alice saying, painting the roses red. Somewhere, some movie, they have, I swear to gosh, I it's pansies that I thought were singing, or they were evil or crying or something I seem to remember. Well, gosh darn. Okay, we're just going to kind of place this around. Okay. Which, I don't know if I want to go completely over the yellow or just around the yellow. Looks like I'm going on it anyway. All right, I'm going to get rid of that before I get all the yellow in there. I love this transfer, you guys. This is so um, delicate of a transfer. It's so... Like, I almost think I wonder if I should have painted this purple instead of the gray. I guess I wasn't paying attention to the transfer. So in the comments, tell me, you guys, are you a green thumb or a black thumb? Can you grow plants pretty well? I think I've been doing pretty good with my indoor plants. I now have a plant shelf above my sink. I love it. I think shim, chimin, chiminry. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I want to put that back. I don't know if there's yellow in there or not. Let's take a peek at this. How pretty is that? So pretty. And my green is coming up. So let's redo that. So evidently, we shouldn't wait. Let's see if we can bring some of that back to life. I'm gonna have to just Google. Black, Kathy's a black thumb, oh no. I didn't used to be able to, but they do like sun and they do like water. So we try to stick to that. OMG, my, oh man. Darn it. We waited too long on the leaves. Okay, don't do as I do. Do as I say. Oh, but I like that. It's so pretty. The uh, Azizis. The Azizis. Yeah, mine have new growth. My ZZs have new growth. I have a black one, and then you gave me the green one. Let's get this dry. We're gonna clean our transfer, and then we're gonna give it, we're gonna fix up that leafy area. What do you guys think? I love that. But I do think, see now if I would have painted that all purple, then what do you do, like a white outline? You still do the yellow inside and do a white line, I guess would be pretty. Okay. So, because I'm excited to see this, 
Ooh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, let's fix our transfer, or wash our transfer real quick. Just the leafy areas for now. And then we're gonna read, you know what? I'm just gonna do the whole thing. It shouldn't take long. They say it, um, they clean up quicker and they dry quicker. So let's just spray the whole thing down. Let me get my, I do have a board eraser and it's somewhat wet. Where's my water? There it is. I have an old bottle of water that I'll just pour it into. Um. <laughs> All right, let's take a paper towel. Oh, yeah, that comes right off. Wow. So far, I am liking the new transfers. Let's brush this side off. Okay, I'm going to take my um board eraser i was going to do more water but okay that took away all the excess paste that was sitting in the actual mesh and it um glides right over it really nice i like these guys whoops I like these a lot. All right. Thank you, Mary. Okay, we're clean. I'm just dragging it ever so slightly on the transfer. Get all that water off. Sticky, sticky. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fuzz this because we have already pasted, so they are thinner. They're more, um, more transparent, Kathy. I think, too, I think those of us that um, cut and sell wood, I think we kind of maybe... I wouldn't say force them in that direction, but because a lot of people want it, you know, you want to be able to see the cutout. That's one of the reasons. And then I think it's a good reason for the, um, the transfers that we layer to, like the layered Valentine, any of them that are layered. Okay, we're gonna to try to match this up here best we can here. Okay, I'm just lightly pressing it down over the green. And I may be off a little bit. but I guess we're gonna be okay with that because we're not really paying attention to that anyways because the flowers are so pretty. Okay, there's that. This, um, these leaves are so delicate. Like, I, I know I'm using the word delicate a lot. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's very uh, tiny areas. Just real top-notch designs here. Okay, so much better. So much better. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now my question is, what color do we paint a frame?
I almost want to say that yellow. I kind of want to say the yellow, but... <sighs> Thank you. Or do we just keep it the wood color because that kind of brings out the yellow. Could do that too. Pretty? Purple, so Kathy says purple. Now I'm confused. I don't know. I'm trying to look at my paste colors to see what I got. Oh, <laughs> I should do that. Wouldn't that be pretty? Or a bee. I can do a bee kind of hanging out. We can move this over. You just want to see me crafting, don't you? Well, that would definitely help us bring in more of the yellow because we could do the B. I may trump your hummingbird. That hummingbird's pretty big. But our B might be just the right thing. I like the way you're thinking, Mary. True. Yeah, that hummingbird, he's a he's a big boy. This is our hummingbird. He's pretty big. But our little bee on the other hand, he's a cutie. I think he'll be he'll do just fine. He'll do just fine. Okay. Now we gotta think colors again. So I think we will do a background in black so that when we do the yellow, he has black and yellow stripes. And it'll bring the black of the chalkboard out. But then what do we do the background piece? I guess we can do gray in that one. <laughs> Decisions, decisions. So I think we're going to do this background piece in the gray. This is the background piece. We'll do that in gray. really should be doing this on my board. Okay. I should have pressed him down when I had a chance. All right, I gotta figure out how to keep him still here. There we go. Okay, background is gray. Okay, then we'll do the B in black, and then we'll chalk him in the Shimmer Harvest. Here's my black. OK, 
Okay. Let's give him a try. So we don't have to worry about waxing that piece. Honestly, I may not wax the top piece either. Uh, we've been having pretty good results not waxing it. I always feel better waxing it, don't get me wrong. I'm sure I'll probably end up waxing it because that's just what I do. All right, let's get that guy down. Shake this guy up. Oh. I have to figure something out, something I can put on that rim so that it doesn't get so, I don't know, crusted over, I guess. You know what, I will wax because I want the shimmer to really attach itself. to the B. Okay. Okay. Let's get him dry. Kind of chalking off camera. Sorry, guy, or er, painting off camera. Okay. All right. There's our B. bees and this is the peaceful garden just gonna do an up arrow just in case okay let's get that waxed I feel like I have ooh, all kinds of stuff going on here all right we need that surface wax so when I'm away um, I'll come live and show you guys the art gallery because we usually get to see a sneak peek of what's coming in this for the spring release which will be next month February and then I even think we get a sneak peek of the August release which is crazy I'm excited about that, but I will come live to you, show you the art gallery, see what you think. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way so that you can see me chalking. Glue gun is on and melting. Let's see if we can line this up without our light. I am gonna put my glasses on. I think we're good. Wow, I think we're good. But I am gonna hold it to the light just to make sure. <laughs> All right, we need to just shift over that wing a little bit here. There we go. Perfect. All right, rub that down real good. I'm excited about this. 
I am excited. Oh, he's going to look so fun. I don't know. I think I got black from somewhere, but I'm trying to go over that. You guys, this chalk paste, now you really use very little because it does not leave much behind at all, which is really nice. Okay, are we ready to see the bee? Oh, I love him. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, let's get him dry. I like him. He's cute. He's cute. All right. So he will now go on here. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, let's put everything together. All right, so we're going to first do this layer. wiggle so man that glue dries fast but then like I said when I'm trying to do it on something else it doesn't it drives me crazy okay um, so I think we're gonna leave the board as is I think we're gonna just kind of because I think it brings in that yellow Or we can try to paint this using our shimmer. Before I go on, what do you guys think? Let's get our B down. So what we'll have to do is do the Mod Podge on it so that it has something to cling to. What say ye? Oh my gosh, so cute. So if I do that, put it up to there. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Get, get my face out of there because I'm covering almost half of it. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Thank you, Kathy. I do too. What do we think? Are we going to Mod Podge and then try to paint it yellow or leave it... Um, as is. Maybe I should. Yellow might look good. Yeah. I'm sure it would. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, but you like it as is. Oh. Oh. All right, let's leave it as is. Next time, we'll make it more glittery. All right, so let's glue our flower down. Do we like our bee down low? Or do we want them up higher? Maybe, I think I kind of like them in there. Kind of like them snuggled in there.
So I'm lining it up edge to edge on that backer, the backer part down. Yeah, I think I like him down too. It's kind of cute all snuggled in there. And because this is raised a little bit, I'm only going to glue them to that part. Um, maybe a little dot there. And of course, we ran out of glue. Oh, gosh. On the side. All right, so we're going to just put a little dollop there. And I'm going to just put a little bit on the edge here. We're gonna snuggle them in there. Oh, M G, look how cute he is! My gosh, so cute. All right, what do you guys think? Do you love it? I love it. So cute. So I'm loving the new transfers. They clean up nicer. They dry quicker. They chalk nicer. I'm really digging the new transfers, you guys. I think you'll like them too. He is just so cute. Thank you for the love, friends. Thank you. Thank you. That was a good idea, Mary, to add something. Very, very good idea. Very, very good idea. Very good. All right, friends. Thanks for showing up for the launch unboxing. I hope you guys found some inspiration. And um, I hope you found that you might like to take a chance on some of these new transfers and do some decorating of your own. Um, thank you so much for coming. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.